Let out some sail! Over there, Captain. The fishing settlement of Greystone. The French took over after it was ransacked by bandits. Well, our anchors are more than our eggs are all set. Old Radio, Let's move! Goodbye, sweetheart. Goodbye, the tops! Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. But if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. These waters are full of enemies. Red Bank in sight, sir. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. 
I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I Captain, Blue track down. that package. Find Washington. Anchor away! Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye. Stand where you are! Join the chorus selection. <laughs> What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where are you? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington.
This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Hey, stop! <laughs> I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Hey, you men do your duty. I don't know. Security is tight. The captain brought in more men. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the other parts. He and half of the guests here. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. 
I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. George is quite the wrong fella, is he not? Do not get your hopes up. He has eyes only for Sally Fairfax. Dad, I'll see. What's You are too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Damn it. I better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not sported! Got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, 
They didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim and... Homestead, now the Miss Abigail... Get the maids free! Stunsels! Let's catch this squall! Hey boys! It's so grim about the homestead, now the Miss Abigail and little Con- Past. Hi. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that. He doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. Yeah. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. A long talk about a warrior about that. He believes the box can be activated too. Project words. Limits. Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But... That's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. 
And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convents they were, dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. We're almost there, Captain. The Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Brief it on, Tops! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafou nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends.